All right. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Today we're going to play Firewatch, and I say that um, <laughs> knowing that we tried to play What Remains of Edith Finch and it didn't work, today I am going to make sure that we can play this darn game. Um, we're probably going to get halfway through, so it'll be, it's about a four hour game. <clears throat> but if everyone really enjoys it, we can finish it up on Saturday. Alright. Hey, Ilana, how you doing? Alright, let's get this bad boy up. I'm so excited for this. I know this game, but I've always wanted to play it myself, and uh, I've just never gotten around to it. Um, so we're gonna make sure it works. We might have to play it on garbage quality, but you know what? We'll make it work. Let's do this. And honestly, it's just disappearing into the woods to escape life is just such a mood at the moment. This is week six of lockdown in uh, Boulder, Colorado, 1975. I always wanted to go to Colorado. It seems like a really cool state. Really, like, nice open plains. You see Julia. She's about your age, late 20s, laughing with well-dressed professors and grad students from a nearby CU Boulder. You, Henry, are out drinking with your pals. You approach her. You are drunk. <laughs> so, what's your, you know, major? Or, you're, you're pretty. Let's just, let's go with the, let's go with the, the gentle option here. You slur the word major and it smells like cause. <laughs> you give an awkward smile. Evolutionary biology, she says, and I'm a professor. Cool, you reply. <laughs> That's like, ah, <laughs> I messed up. What's yours, she asks. She sniffs the air. Toxicology? Oh, damn, Julia. All right, I'm in love with Julia. Was that a burn, you ask? She says, definitely. Worried she hurt your feelings, she asks you if you want to split a cheeseburger. One week later, you're Julia's boyfriend. Oh, that's fast. Look at that. It, oh god, I, I want a burger now. I haven't eaten today. Ooh! Backpack. I'll take that. Ooh, this is so pretty. This is gorgeous. I'm assuming this is our apartment building. That's our truck. Okay, there didn't seem to be dropping any frames on stream. Can I not get in there? Hmm, interesting. I'm assuming I'm just meant to go straight to the truck, but this has light on it. Oh, I can't jump, okay. Oh, the music is so cool. I, I mean, it's just a backpack. Wouldn't you keep that in the cabin with you? That's going up. That's okay. You know what? I'm not even gonna question it. You date for over a year. She drives you absolutely nuts. It's great. Is it? <laughs> Is that what you want your partner to do? Okay. You move in. You share an apartment near the school with a view of the mountains. You two drink beers out on the deck. You drink beer just about anywhere. Mm, life is good. So many adults I've realized in the last like two years I realize so many adults drink all the time. I'm like, wow. Wow, that's a choice. Okay, life is good. Julia wants to get a dog. But I mean, then we're getting a dog. I don't know what to tell you, fam. There's a scruffy, undersized beagle. Julia is in love. She wants to bring it with her to class. There's also an intimidating but gentle-eyed German Shepherd. Nothing bad could happen to Julia while walking this dog. It's badass. Oh, you pick up the beagle and she names him Bucket, or you adopt the shepherd and name him Mayhem. <laughs> oh, she loves the beagle, but like, you don't want anything bad to happen to her. I can't deny Julia. I'm already in love with her. Beagle. Bucket's a good dog, and a week later you've totally forgotten about the other one. Julia loves him. You love him too. Aww, so cute. 
1979, you walk out on the deck. It's summer. 9.30pm and the heat still radius, radiates off the high desert. What do you think about kids? She asks. I'm not, uh... I'm personally not about them. Kids, they're not very smart, or good at much. I'm saying if you and I have some, a couple of little idiots. Hi, spooky Sasha. Bucket, I know, right? Oh my god, that's so cute. Uh, that would be pretty good. One day, why rush? I mean, it sounds like he's not super into it. Yeah, why rush? She looks away out towards the mountains. We have plenty of time, right? Speak for yourself, mister. Don't worry, you assure her. Uh oh. You tell her she has the body of an undergrad. That's an odd thing to say. My ovaries didn't get the memo, she says, laughing it off. One day, okay? One, okay, one day, she says. Six months later, you get engaged, lying in bed on a Sunday morning. Oh, that's cute. God, the music in this game is so good. All right. Oh, I assume I've already got my backpack. Look at this, fam. God, this game is so pretty. Oh, thank you for the follow. Cheers. But thank you for just coming and hanging out. Thoroughfare Trailhead. Don't forget to check in. Two forks. Ooh. Learn to live with bears. You're in their country. See, I like this. I respect this. It's like when people are like, sharks are awful. It's like, fam, we're in their habitat. Come on. No fireworks. I appreciate that. Not recommended for inexperienced hikers. Well, that's me, so let's go ahead. <laughs> I miss hiking. Alana, when your leg's better, we need to go hiking. 1980. It's a Thursday night and Julia is four hours late. Ooh, she doesn't call. You're worried and getting angrier by the minute. She walks in after you've gone to bed. Yes, I'm keen, yeah. She's not quite drunk, but she's clearly been having a fun time. You fight when she gets between the sheets. She, she's clearly been having a fun time. Like, yes, she should have called, but like, calm down, dude. You get mad. Oh, these are both awful options. You get mad or you ignore her? That's, 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 both of them are awful options. I feel like this is the less bad one. You ignore her. Oof. You don't touch each other all night. The next day, you feel guilty for being so angry, you should, and ask her about her evening. She says it was great. There you go. You hold on to a tiny pill of resentment. Why? Don't do that. You make some coffee and go to work. Well, this Henry is, um, a bit of a douchebag. 1981. Julia still likes to draw. She draws plants from her research. She draws all the places you go. She draws you. You pose and flex like He-Man. <laughs> You frolic like a Victoria's Secret model. Um, <laughs> I have no idea. Uh, hey man, why not? You look awesome. Nice. Oh, we're back. Oh, that's a hell of a jump. Also, did you see my shoes? They look awesome. God, this game is so pretty. Hi, Ari. How you doing? I love this game, but I wanted to watch someone else play it. I'm glad I caught you in the beginning. Nice! Yeah, I know the story, but I've always wanted to play it myself. Um, it seems like a really, really good game. Eight more miles still. Wow. We got a hike ahead of us, buddy boo. Oh. <laughs> You're writing another paper. Oh my goodness. 1982. During the summers, you and Julia enjoy walking Bucket at night. Bucket! Oh, I, look, I adore Bucket. There's a festival in town. It brings in folks from faraway places. One of them tries to mug you with a knife. Give it to her. Bucket get... Bucket gets kicked. Excuse me. But, 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 fuck! D -d Dog! Julia yells. She gets flustered and has trouble speaking when she's stressed. You confront the attacker. You scare him away or you beat his goddamn face in. I mean, he kicked my fucking dog, dude. Um. Uh, I once biked for eight, mi eight miles in Poland. It was amazing. Ooh, that's awesome. B 
beat his face in. I don't know. I feel like Julia wouldn't like that. Um, I feel like Henry would definitely beat his face in. But like, oh, I don't know, man. Alright, we're going with Ari's choice. Beat his face in. Your arm gets cut up, but you beat the guy to a pulp. You don't feel very tough. You cry your eyes out before the cops show up. Julia asks to take a different path from that day forward. You say okay. You don't want to go that way either. Mm -hmm. From then on, you walk by the river. Yikes. Yikes. 1984. Plans to have kids get waylaid by work. Fair enough. Julia gets offered a, offered a job at Yale? Oh my goodness. I love Julia. Yale is in Connecticut, 2,000 miles away. It's a great job. Associate department chair. She wants to move. You absolutely do not. Henry, you married this woman. You agreed to support her no matter what comes. Convince her to not take the job. Excuse me. Agree if she commutes back and forth. Why don't you just fucking move, dude? Oh my goodness, I do not like this guy. The dog is worth it. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Okay, well, there's a bunch of shit options. Agree, I guess. Oh, God, I hate this guy. Julia, we need to break up with him. <laughs> I know, I'm like, I'm making that judgement call very early, but like, man. You ask her if she'll commute back and forth. You don't want to move to Connecticut. She says that'll be hard, but she'll do it if you won't move. You tell her not to pass it up if it's what she wants. She agrees. She flies back to Boulder three times each semester. He is, he is a, 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 an option, Henry. Why don't you commute? Why don't you make the effort, dude? Come on. 1985. Julia is sent home from Yale on paid leave after having an episode. Excuse me? She lost it on a colleague for borrowing books that were important to her research. She didn't remember that she had happily loaned them to him just two days prior. Oh. Girl, leave him. Exactly. Relationships are 50-50? Yes! Yes, they are. Oh my goodness. She was found crying in the stairwell. Oh no. You say that maybe you guys should talk to someone about it. You make macaroni and drink wine and try to forget about it. God, I mean, fam, this is an easy option. Maybe you should talk to someone about it. Don't just get drunk. That's stupid. After seeing multiple doctors and having many tests, they are worried that Julia might be suffering from early onset dementia. She's 41. Both of my grandmothers had dementia. God, it's not pretty. You both decide to keep it a secret for now. And my journal, backpack. Man, it's so pretty. Oh, I'm starting to see why Henry disappeared. Oh my god. Oh, oh, okay. Okay, let's not let's not look at that, fam. I don't want to get banned from Twitch. That's that's a bit that's a bit thing. But that's why I'm not mad, Henry. That's my point. Yeah, that's fair. Bucket is getting older. Julia comments that it's kind of nice because he gets in less trouble around the house. A week later, she goes back to the university. 1987. Julia's affliction gets worse. She can't remember things in class. Her research is in shambles. She drives her car to the next town over for no particular reason and has to get brought home by the police. She's devastated. She's sent home on permanent medical leave. This is so, this is the opening of the game, dude. Oh man. Some days you get the Julia who calls you a dope and your unborn children little idiots. Other days you get a stranger. She pulls you into the bed to make love. After five minutes, she goes into a panic, believing her dad is at the door. You tell her family. They are crushed and begin to make trips to and from their home in Australia to visit her. Hey. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> this is so devastating. For a while, your friends come by and with little things to brighten her day. Brighten the day. She gets worse. <laughs> Lads. 1988. You spend your days following Julia around the house. 
the account in seconds between the two weekly visits from Daniel, the nurse. He suggests that Julia could live somewhere else, somewhere with 24-hour care, a home. It sits with you for a couple of months. You decide to move her into a full-time care facility, or you are determined to take care of her by yourself. See, I don't, I genuinely don't know Australia. Yeah. I genuinely don't know what I would do in this situation. Like, I can barely look after myself, and it sounds like Henry can't really look after himself. With, with the drinking and everything. And anger. Oh, man. But at the same time, like, is it bad to take her out of home? That's one of the worst decisions to have to make. My grandfather had to move my grandmother to a home. Exactly, it's just... Oh. I think we'll, we'll have to move her into a care facility. I don't think Henry's. And like the, the fact that the nurse is saying it as well. You know, listen to your doctor and your nurse, you know what I mean? Medical professionals. <laughs> Ooh, back in the forest. <laughs> Man, this game is so pretty. these trees this is just, I'm just gonna pretend this is being outside simulator cuz that's what I need right now oh shit parkour oh dear hello okay bye bye her family agrees with your decision you find a place you found ugh, ugh. You find a fantastic place in Boulder and move her there. You see her every day, then every other day. You go out to the bar with your old friends. It's not the same. You get the feeling that every wife tells her husband, if you ever put me in a home like Henry did, I will cut your balls off. You slowly decide to not see your old friends that much. Fair enough. They're not making you happy. 1989. Julia's sister Susan moves to Boulder to be close to her. She visits her every day. You go with her some of the time. Susan buys you an old typewriter and urges you to use it if you won't see a therapist. You won't. You have, you've always really liked Susan. Then maybe you should listen to her, buddy. <laughs> and go to therapy. Months go by. Bucket dies. <sighs> Yum. This is just like one hard hit after another, man. Julia doesn't remember him when you tell her. I mean, is that kind of for the best? Sometimes it takes her a minute to lock in on you. In the back of your mind, you believe it's because you see her less and less. And seeing her less and less makes her forget you more. You think. Summer is coming and you see an ad in the paper for a job. You take it. I'm actually like trying not to cry. This <laughs> is. Oh man. There it is. The lookout tower. Nice ominous red light up there. Oh. I missed something. There must be a sign or something I didn't see. Theodore Lookout? Is that what it's called? So pretty. Look at this. The colors are just so gorgeous. Oh man. Oh, nice boarded up windows. You love to see it. What's around here? Anything? Oh, thoroughfare lookout. There you go. Oh, it just loops around, I think. Turn on the power. You mean this big blinky light? <laughs> oh, that was a slap. What was that? Hello, Two Forks Tower. Oh. Um, hello. Left shift activate radio. Uh, oh, okay. Um, hello? Whoever this is? It's Henry, right? Yeah. I'm Delilah. 
Yeah, that's what the guy said on the phone. So, what's wrong with you? Excuse me? People take this job to get away from something. So, what's wrong? What's wrong with you? That's a great idea. Go ahead. Look, I just <laughs> hiked for two days, so I don't really follow whatever it is you're doing right now. You take a stab at what's wrong with me. Fine, then can I sleep forever? Sure, buddy. Okay, now go ahead. Okay. Oh, you've killed three ex-husbands. You're rebelling against Norm. Nobody back home can stand you. <laughs> oh, you're rebelling against Mum. Uh, this one. Okay. Uh, you <laughs> killed three husbands. You're a black widow, and you're just out here until the heat dies down, and then you'll kill again. Ooh, very good. Bravo, Henry. Nice. Okay, I sleep now. <laughs> Not quite. I sleep now. now? Okay. Good night. Bye. I don't know anything about you. Hang on. Nine times out of ten, folks out here simply got dumped. So, is that it? Close. Good night. <laughs> Good night. Welcome to the job. Oh, okay. There we go. <laughs> woods therapy is a real thing and very effective. Basically just walking into the woods. Yeah, I can see that. Just morning, being well, away from everything. Good afternoon. Um, could you not? Oh, uh, that's Julia. There you go. Oh wow, I've I've set up. That's really cool. Hey, sorry. Guess I slept in. You got a relaxing what? Fourteen hours of sleep? Oh, that's a good sleep. Yeah. Jesus. I guess it's what six. Six forty-five. Whoops. <laughs> Don't worry about it. That hike puts everyone out of commission for a day or two. But now that you're up, let me quickly get you acquainted with the job. There's a thing in the middle of your room with a round map on it. Do you see it? Mm, this bad boy? Okay, yeah, I see it. This is Look the Osborne Firefinder, invented in 1914 by W.B. Osborne. Firefighter. You use this to spot, you guessed it, fi- What the fuck? What is what? it? Nothing, um... Where is she? Oh, fuck me. Good God, language, lady. Out your west-facing window. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Uh, oh, and to use tumblers. Fucking fireworks? Uh, west? This one? Is that what she said? Whoa, that's not legal, right? Uh, no. You need to get down there right now and stop them. Fire danger is through the fucking roof. Is that really my job? Your job is whatever I say it is. Look, the closest ranger is like two days away. Go down there and set them straight. Alright. Kick the shit out of them. Can I write them a ticket? I'm not really into discipline. Um, I'm gonna kick the shit out of them. Can handle that? Do I write them a ticket? Easy there, Dirty Harry. Well? Get going. You'll probably need a rope to get down the shale between you and the lake, if I remember right. There should be one in the supply box on the way. The code is 1234. <laughs> Actually, that for Super secure. Them. You love to see it. Yeah, secure. secure. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> okay. Um. Uh, anything else I should take? I can't take anything. I can just examine. Nice book. Set up. Um. I don't think anything else I can take. All right. Uh. Can I not take my backpack? I just open the door. Oh, I take it automatically. Beautiful. Oh my god, it's so gorgeous. Yeah, no, I I would love to just disappear into the wild for like a few weeks. I was gonna say a month, but like I would miss technology. Or I guess if I had like my computer up over what? Oh, that. Okay. Um, M3 map. Oh boy. Okay, I'm going west, right? This way. That's what I'm doing, right? Okay. Let's keep this out. Files to the west. The dialogue in this game is so funny and good. Wish more games could put in this kind of effort. It's really good. And the voice actors are so good. 
like it just immediately setting up the kind of people they are is very good. Oh, okay, I can't, can I not run? This is as fast as we go, I think. That's fair. Yeah, like I love the city. I really do. I can't see myself ever living not near a city. But yeah, it would be nice to just get away from everything for a while. Oh, is this it? I forgot. I <laughs> in the last like two minutes, I forgot I was looking for supply cash. Um, are there a lot of these out in the woods. So are there a lot of these out in the woods? Yeah, we got them all over the Shoshone. <laughs> oh, this is cool. Okay, copy information. That's so cool! Uh, read. Q. Uh, 7th of the 7th, 89. Oh, I guess this is America. Oh, it doesn't really matter. 7th of the 7th, 1886. Ron. Hey man, guy couldn't take it out. Couldn't take it, so I locked up his lookout and sent, put some stuff in the box. I can't read this morning. Um, I assume that's my lookout, because that was all locked up. Found one of those bars you liked. Hiking into the park, but let's get fucked when I'm back. Dave. <laughs> nice. <laughs> sure. Um, ooh, I can keep it? I don't know why I would keep someone else's note, but sure. Pinecone! Can I not keep pinecones? I want it. Oh, we'll just about toss it. Okay. Deal with whoever's setting off the fireworks. Can I take a granola bar? Yeah. Eat that shit. Nice. Uh, where's my compass? Yeah, cool. Making sure we're going the right way. Yeah, it's just... Uh, it's really, really gorgeous. Like, I would say... Oh, ah, the toggle jogging. Nice. I thought it was weird that it couldn't go faster. Um... I would say, like, it would be fascinating to... Where the hell am I going? Um... Oh, just heading further. Well, just listen to the fireworks, I suppose. To see, like, how long I could last out in the woods without, you know? With just, like, radioing someone and that's it. Nothing else. But at the same time, eh. I kind of wouldn't want to put myself through that. Okay. Uh, can I not? Ah, here. Yeet. Whoa. Repel down. Let's go. I mean, not sure you needed a rope for that. Oh! Okay, well. That was a lot farther than I thought it would be. Okay. Yikes. Port climbing incident, sure. Hey. What the hell's wrong with you? My rope snapped coming down the shale slide. You didn't break anything, did you? No, I think I'll make it. Be careful for Christ's sake. <laughs> oh well, I mean <laughs> What was the point of that? She just yelled at me! Alright, we keep going this way, I assume? I feel like we'll get to a point where... Yeah, okay, that's down to another part. Like, we'll get to a point where we probably won't even need the map to, di uh, to uh, direct. Uh, report meadow. Hello, a nice camping spot. These cliffs down here or something. Hey, I'm not sure where to look. Um... This one? Wow, there's a, a big rock outcropping down here near the lake. It's really something. Yeah, makes for good camping. There used to be a group of guys who would boulder out there a couple times a year. What happened to them? Oh. Dunno? Just stopped coming out? Fam. Oh, shit. Ferret or Irish. I'm just gonna keep that. Sure. Why not? Mainly just because I want to take it from whoever, uh... Oh, look. They decided to have a campfire, too. 
the idiots down at the lake? Yeah, them. Just found where they're hanging out. They left their packs tied up here. Don't fuck with them. The last thing we need is some hikers filing a report about harassment. Fair enough. Oh, beer can. Uh, oh, clean up. Hold. Yeah, cool. We definitely want to clean them up. Confiscate. Let's do it. I probably should have... Finding a bunch of empty beer cans. They threw them all over hell. Are you fucking serious? Yeah, sure am. Uh, people are just the worst, aren't they? They're not great, no. What kind of arsehole would you have to be to come out to such a beautiful place like this and litter? Shouldn't litter anywhere, but you know. Well, they left their clothes out to dry. It looks like uh, two people. Uh, what if they're naked? Won't that be exciting? Oh, they're no. obviously still there, so tell them off and then head back. Do I want to examine this? Did, did you? Oh, okay, cool. I thought he took it. I was like, don't do that. Uh, nope. We're not even. We're not even gonna touch those. Not even gonna touch those, fam. Oh, the music's pumping. Let's turn this off. Can I not turn it off? Because I... Listen to Lily. God, I hate teenagers. <laughs> can I not turn you? Can I not turn this off? Um. <laughs> oh wait, hang on. Just kind of a dick move, but you know. Uh, went fine. Hey. Oh, there you are. It went fine. Hopefully there won't be any more trouble. Good. Thanks for going down there. You're welcome. Oh, I can't. I can't say anything. Okay. Okay. Um. There's her lookout. Uh, okay. Where are we headed, fam? Back east, I assume? Um. I'm sure we'll find it. Just keep the compass out. Yeah, I feel kind of bad about destroying their boombox, but at the same time, man, you come out here, you get drunk, you set off fireworks, you leave a campfire. Like, ugh. Don't do that. Oh, I always forget and I can run. <coughs> man, it's so pretty. Uh, can I not? Yeah, nice. I love when games like do stuff like this. It's like Uncharted, where if you don't know if you can climb up a wall, just look for the white spots, and it's like, yep, you can grab onto those. Hup. Hup. Uh, I'm assuming I should be going up here. Oh my goodness, that was a weird camera angle to switch to. Henry's getting in his step. What? Is it? Um, look, I was I was drunk last night when I welcomed you to the job. Yeah, well, you're not the first boss to be guilty of that. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I just I know I can get a little pushy, you know, putting you on the spot about uh, why you're out here and stuff. Uh, not be there. Fine. I'll, I'll I'll keep that sort of a thing to uh to a minimum. Anyway, appreciate it. Let me know when you get back to your lookout. I mean, at least she admitted she was wrong. I keep going to put shift to run. At least she admitted she was wrong, you know? Uh... Storm? Hey, I heard some thunder. Yeah, I've got eyes on a storm out to the north. Well, that's bad, right? Because of the lightning? It just means we'll be busy. Hurry home and try not to get hit by lightning. Thanks, Delilah. 
I got hit by lightning when I was nine. Ooh, uh, I want to hear that story. Lightning when I was nine years old, so I'm safe. It's not gonna strike twice. All that. Well, there was an old lookout named Roy Sullivan who got hit by lightning seven times. I don't like the sound of that. Yeah. Well, <laughs> if it makes you feel any better, it wasn't what killed him. Ooh. What killed him? Doesn't make you feel better. Suicide. Would you believe? Yikes. I'm very glad it's one, two, three, four. That is so helpful. <laughs> Copy the information. Let's do it. What is that? Defend something? Oh, flashlight. Yes, thank you. I will take that. Oh, it doesn't work. Oh my god, that was bright. Don't do that, Henry. Um, sure. Horn. F the toggle flashlight. Yeah, boy. Oh, cave. What's in this cave down here? In Thunder Canyon. Thunder Canyon. Hey, I didn't name it. But in the cave, Eve. I don't know, rocks. NFS tells people not to go too far in there. It's pretty dangerous. So I'm absolutely going in. So I say, fuck it. You're a grown man. You can go where you want. <laughs> Great. Used to go caving with someone back in Colorado. She loved it. Aww. That'd be great to explore it sometime this summer. Well, that could be fun. Obviously, be very careful. Um. Play the cave. Uh, <laughs> uh, this oh, cave is gated off. I missed it. It's to stop spelunkers from dying without getting the keys from the Forest Service office first. Makes sense. Yeah, fair enough. Although, Debbie says she lost him like three years ago, so maybe its mysteries are locked away for good. Fair enough. Ah, damn. Yeah, but maybe you can find another one to get your caving kicks in. Oh, this one's so close to home and convenient, though. <laughs> oh, sorry, Hank. Um, that would be me. I'd be like, aww. Back, 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 back. Probably shouldn't be, you know, hitting something that's so rusted. Up we go. I don't even know if this is the right way, but you know what? Oh, look at them stars! Stars! Like Nemesis. Anyone? No? Oh, I keep... That's gonna be so hard to train out of. I keep going click shift to run. But it's... Oh, oh. Hello? There's some guy out here giving me the creeps. The creeps? Ah, ah, ah! Um... So? Henry, there's there's something I something someone should have told you about this area. What is it? <laughs> it's outside. Come on. The whole thing. And people come and go as they please. It's 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 madness. Yeah, yeah, okay. I get it. Thanks, Delilah. Someone in the middle of nowhere is part of the fun. Not, you know, at night. Maybe I should turn the flashlight off. I don't know if there's battery on that. Um I assume not. That's creepy as hell. I didn't like that. Uh, please tell me Henry can jump. Yes, nice. I hate when it's like, oh, there's a little plank missing. You have to go around. Uh, up that way or this way where the creepy guy was? Uh, no, we're not gonna drop down. But we're gonna go up. Oh. Henry's got their muscles. Henry lifts, bro. Hup. Oh my goodness. At this point, I'd just be like, I'm gonna sleep down here. All these rocks. How are you even scaling this, dude? This is like vertical. Yeah, no, that would be so creepy. Just seeing someone standing out there, like... Ooh. Especially at night with a storm rolling in. Can I not? Ah, there we go. That's creepy as hell. I didn't like that at all. And, like, maybe harmless, you know? People just stand around. Might not even be looking at me, but the fact that his torch was on me... Eh. Trail closed. Oh my god, I thought he was falling backwards. Oh my god, I thought... 
I thought he was dead. I thought I'd killed him. Uh, well, that trail isn't closed anymore. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, I took care of the black path. Um, it was <laughs> backbreaking, but you know, anything for the service. <laughs> well, thank you. Anytime. You're welcome. I mean, you could just stand and back up, Henry. You've got to just give up. All right. Oh man, I yeah, I thought he was dead. I genuinely thought he was dead. What is this? Wooden sign. Someone, someone from like Fallout or something. What is this? Uh, this so all this the electricity I've got? All the power I've got out here. Yep, it doesn't go through much gas, and well, you don't have much in the way of electronics, so. But my hair dryer. <laughs> <laughs> I just have to make peace with frizzy locks. I could never. <laughs> okay, I like Henry. I was uh used outhouse. Um so it's uh just the outhouse then in terms of going to the bathroom. You're in the woods, sure, dude. Man, Henry, you can go wherever you want. Well, number one at least. And uh full <laughs> disclosure, I pee wherever I want as well. I'll drink to that, bro. Fair enough. You're out in the woods. Um, okay, I assume... I don't think there's any fictional character I hate more than Forrest Burns. That's fair. Henry, as an employee of the Forest Service, that is treason. <laughs> yeah, well, he really freaked me out as a kid. He freaks me out he as an adult! He the bulk of my 30s, keeping the wilderness safe. A shrink would have a field day with you. <laughs> oh my god, Henry, that's so rude! What kind of name is Forrest Burns, anyway? Oh, Forrest Burns. Royal butts. Royal? Butts. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think anyone had been named Royal since the 1850s. That is a dope ass name. Well, Royal's mom, Flo, was a bit of a trendsetter. Flo Butts? Flo Butts? Oh man, that's even worse. <laughs> yeah, well, it's still better than Forrest Burns. That's true. <laughs> um, why am I examining it? Go away. I don't like you. Oh, oh, baseball. Thank you. Hmm. Um, because it's. Oh, there we go. Uh, I actually like the outhouse. It's still gross. I feel like I'm gonna be murdered. That's ominous. Um, I actually I like, like the outhouse. outhouse. Rustic. Sure. I'm roughing it sort of way. Yeah, it's a little privacy among the seemingly endless expanse of. I like it all the same. <laughs> um, can I keep the baseball? Maybe I'll just keep it in here. So I always know where it is. There we go. Alright, Forrest. You come with me. I need a buddy. God, that's so creepy. I hate it. Maybe I'll keep it with me and then take it out and throw it in the lake later. Um. Um. Fuck off, Forrest. Um. Uh. What can I do for you? Well, my typewriter is on the ground outside of my tower. You right? Yeah. Look, uh, the wind. <laughs> it's not. No. How the hell? It's a bit of a... You should get inside. Yeah. Not me. Uh. Uh. Someone broke in. Hey, what? That's so Just creepy. Right Threw my typewriter out the window. Motherfucker. Holy shit. Um, I'll let the Forest Service know what happened. That's so creepy. Oh, knowing someone's just in your house and the music is all, like, intense. Oh, man. Yeah, I was gonna say, like, the glass pad, this is so, like, forensic of me, but, like... Okay. The glass pattern is not as if he punched in, it's as if something's come out. Uh, thanks. Okay, thanks. Do you have any idea who would have done this? Maybe the guy in the canyon? Maybe that guy I saw in the canyon, but I don't know why the fuck he'd want to mess with my stuff. Well, I'll have the rangers keep an eye out for a man hiking on his own and question him if they find him. <sighs> I can't believe someone would do this. I worry about bears and fires, and that's about it. And now I've got to worry oh, about some deranged hiker trashed. going after lookouts. Great. Everything is trashed. Uh, okay, in the morning I'm going to call my friend Patty, who works the desk.
Ghost down in Cody. They keep a list of everyone who's officially been in and out of the trailhead since, I don't know, forever, and see if we can get a list of names. We won't get much, but at least if anything else happens, we can refer to it and see if anything comes up. Thanks. Fair enough. I need you to feel safe out here. I don't. I really don't. Uh, just tell me where to find a gun. Jesus. Okay, I well, don't. I sure don't now. Um, oh, okay, more day two. I thought I was gonna have to clean up. God, imagine just... Okay, I don't like the woods anymore. <laughs> I've, re I've retracted. I don't want to do this. Oh, the whiskey that I took. That's cool. Hey, wake up. That's a cool little continuity. I'm awake. I'm awake. Good first day. Achievement unlocked. That's not good. Can I go? I don't really know why that would be the case. Can I go fix, can I go it? fix it? Well, you probably can't, but what you can do is hike out to where the wire runs through your area and report back if it's down. Then I can track down a ranger to get someone on it. Okay, I can do that. Where is it? Remember that cave you hiked through yesterday? Vaguely. Yeah, of course. So you're gonna want to go back there, go through it, and keep going straight to the north when you come out. Okay. I can do that. Thanks, Hank. Hank. It's Henry. What, you don't like Hank? Yeah, I don't like Hank. But thanks rhymes with Hank. Stop. No, it doesn't. Arguing okay. with him. It's All his right. name. Uh, no, we're going to leave these two there. Oh, better with Julia. Oh. That's what Henry looks like. That's cool. Put that back. Um... Oh, we've still got the fireworks. That's cool. There's, there's such cool little continuity stuff. Like, we kept the whiskey and stuff like that. Um, not what I wanted to do. <laughs> sure. Um, anything else I need? Smiley! Okay. Oh, why would you leave these on the floor? Sorry lads, we'll get to, you know, I know it's bad that we can't uh, call out and we might need help, but books on the floor is not where they go. Okay. There we go. Nice. Alright, I'm happy. Let's go. Alright, through the cave and then to the north. Oh my god, this game is so beautiful. I'm gonna just be saying that constantly. But it's true. It is beautiful. I was, I'm really glad, like, I could turn the quality up, like, a tiny bit higher, um, but I don't want to run the risk of dropping frames. Um, oh, he's still here. Actually, you can guard. Well, okay. You pay for what you get, I suppose. <laughs> uh, west. Wasn't that where I came from? This way. Uh, I gotta find the outhouse. Um, map. Can I not, like, zoom? Oh, I can zoom in. That's cool. Um, yeah, okay. So I gotta go... Uh, medicine wheel. Okay. Okay. Go left. I really have no idea what I'm doing. But we're just gonna go west. Um, is it west? Where's... Where's the outhouse? What are we doing? Did I come back from the west? I'm so lost and I haven't even left my lookout. How bad is that? I would be an awful firewatch person. Where is this outhouse? Wouldn't be east. Maybe I want my baseball. Uh oh, I'm stuck. There it is. Nice. Okay, here we go. Yep, here we go. Oh, someone moved that. That's creepy. That was on the floor. That's what I broke. Hey, Tatum, how you doing? Um, okay. Why wouldn't you just keep going down? Sure. Don't break your ankles. Ugh. Oh. 
Okay, down we go. Down and down and down we go. Wow, this is so high. What is this? Oh, it's actually pretty damn cold out here. Roger that. Warms up fast. The mornings are cold in Boulder, though, right? Yeah, they are. Did we tell her we were in Boulder? Oh, we did. Yeah. What's life like? Um, talk about bucket. Julie, your favorite part. Bucket. Uh, you know, uh, I don't know. I used to just spend a lot of time with our dog, Bucket. Aw, that's a good name. It, it is a, a good name. Dog. What type? A beagle. We got him from the pound. That's great. Hey, can you hold on a sec? Uh, sure. Just gonna keep hiking and hoping it warms up. <laughs> hey, oh. I don't think so. Why, have you? Okay, good. Let's just listen. No, I don't think he has any idea. I'm absolutely sure. Talk about Julia. What was it who called? Was who was who? I, I don't think so. The game in the trailer was good. Was nice. That? Were you talking about me? Uh, what? Maybe I should have talked about Julia. Pressed or something. Henry, that call was work. I was just talking to. Actually, it's not really your business. Why are you freaking out? I'm not freaking out. Good. I'm gonna go quiet for a little bit. Call me if it's important. Oh, uh, whoops. I didn't want to talk about Julia, but like. Oh man, Delilah is sus, right? But also, why would, like, surely she knew I could hear that call, right? Okay. I wonder if there's, like, because you didn't have to come in this cave. So I wonder what would have happened if I just bypassed it. If she was like, remember uh, that cave you went through? And it's like, n n no. <laughs> no, I didn't go through a cave. Hop. Yeah, like, surely she knew I could hear that call, right? Why are they playing the pronoun game on me? Uh, north, yeah. That's where I'm meant to be going. Um, just keep heading north, I suppose. I'm going east now. Um, where am I going? North of the canyon. Um... North of Thunder Canyon? Uh, okay. Well, I can't get up there. Ugh, stop clicking shift. Hey, Wild Mac, how you doing? Do I escape Jimmy? No, we haven't finished it yet. I think we're about halfway through. How about you? How, how's your playthrough going? I love that Delilah is annoyed like that wasn't super creepy, creepy. yeah. <laughs> yeah, she's like, how dare you listen in on the call that I didn't hide from you. Like, well, uh, <laughs> uh, what do you mean? I, I have a right to know if you're talking about me. Oh, I didn't need to hold R. That's cool. I like that. Doing great. You escaped on Saturday. Nice. Yeah, I've actually had to stop myself from, like, playing it off-stream. I've been so tempted, because I want to know what happens. But we'll get through it. We will absolutely get through it. I might have to just, like, do a stream that I'm like, we are not stopping until we finish this game. Um... Another outhouse? Uh, hey, I found a structure and that she's still gone? Once, I think. Whoa, uh, oh, she's there. You don't okay. need my permission to go to the bathroom, but, you know, use abandoned shitters at your own peril. <laughs> I mean, uh, I'm in the right area? I do believe. Uh, the comms wire runs for quite a ways. Follow it all the way to the top of Beartooth Point, and if it's not damaged, you can loop around back home. I was not listening to that. Top of Beartooth Point? Cool, we can do that. Which spirit were you on? Yeah, we were almost finished bows, and we just met Harvey briefly. Um, Beartooth Point. 
Oh, wow, we we on heaps north, lads. Oh, there's a cache we can get on the way. Nice. Got that one. 302. All right, cool. So just keep heading north. Yeah, I, th I got the feeling we were almost finished with Bowser's story. But, um, I don't know. I'm bad at judging stuff like that. <laughs> Um, this is going east. This is not where I want to go. I am so lost. This is why I'm the driver and not the navigator. <laughs> this is why I don't look at maps. I think you're close. Nice. Yeah, I'm so intrigued, man. And like, with how like tragic Amy's story finished, I'm like, oh. I'm intrigued as to how bad the adults are going to get it. Alright. Oh man, this is also pretty. Oh, there's something over there. Yeah, I would get so lost here in my first few days. They'd be like, why did you come out to the forest? <laughs> like, how did we hire you? You just can't do basic navigation. Gimme, 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 gimme. What's in here? Five, 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 five. Uh, whoop, that's not right. Two, three, four. I very much appreciate that. Copy. Oh, we've got this in our, uh, thing. The flora thing. Oh, another note. Let's read it. Uh, cute. Uh, 30th of the 7th, 86. Dave. hey -o. <laughs> hey -o. I got your note about needing to talk, and sorry I didn't track you down. Been looking for you all day. Figured you'd be out near the canyon helping those grad students, but I guess not. I don't even know how I could help, really. How I could really help, anyway. We're co-workers, you know. Amigos professionales. Okay. Uh, if you need someone to throw a case back with and go time traveling, Ron's your guy. But I'm not great with the life stuff. You get it. Later, Ron. Ooh, awkward. Ooh, that's that's like, hey man, uh, we're we're not as close as you think we are. Ouch, dude. I'm keeping that note. I like the <gasps> pie gun. Nice. I like being a thief. Pinecone! And pinecone. Who's collecting these? Look at that. That's so pretty. Nice. I'm assuming the notes will add up to their own story. I've just got to be smart enough to get them all. <gasps> turtle! Whoa, I, uh, I found a turtle. Maybe it's a, a ah, tortoise. It's a thing with a shell. Look at it! Well, isn't that something? It's actually pretty cute. You wanted to keep you company, nobody will mind. Now, what do I call it? Ah! Looks like a. Kurt Reynolds, uh, Shelly Duvall, Bucket Jr. It's a secret. Shelly Duvall, I mean, come on. Bucket Jr. is good. Shelly Duvall. Ah, Shelly. I see what you did there. Very nice. nice. She's, uh, she's dainty yet powerful. Well, I loved her in The Shining. Ness. I'm adopting him. Obviously, I'm adopting him. Come on. Turtle! Your calves would be so ripped. Oh, you'd have such ripped calves. Keep him! Of course, of course. Um, keep going north, I suppose. She didn't tell me to do anything else. Um, maybe? Am I? Yeah, somewhere I can get through. Oh man, I'm so happy to have a turtle. Um, okay. Is this where she told me to be? Beartooth Point? I wasn't listening, I gotta be honest with you. I actually wasn't listening. I feel like for the first, like, little bit... Mmm... I was about to say, for the first little bit, you'd be so jumpy at any little noise. Oh, can I go down here? Long drop down. Don't break your ankles! Ah. And then you just get used to it after a while. See, like that. What is that noise? Creepy man, are you around? Oh, that's where I have to be. Right. 
That guy was so creepy. Ooh, look, brick can. Guess what? What is it? There's a bunch of empty cans up here. Same as before. Yep. These fucking kids. Um, how could these girls be so stupid? Why do you think they'd be up here? Um, why do you think they'd, be, you up think they'd be up here? Hell if I know, but they better have stayed away from our communication stuff. Well, I don't think they have, considering you've said the communication stuff is bad. Uh, I can see the wire you're talking about. It looks like it's in good shape from here. We'll follow it up to the top of the trail if you can. Okay. You can head back as soon as you give me the all clear. Got it. So, ah, uh, it's bad. All right, before we do that, let's be good for the environment. Clean that shit up. Go to hell? Okay, it looks like forest burns. Don't just pick up a white a dude. What are you doing? That's just an exposed wire. Don't pick hey, that so up. Fam. That's actually good to hear. I can send someone out to fix it. Good find. Yeah, the thing is, it doesn't look like the wind. It looks like it was cut. Yeah. I knew it. The moment you said you found their trash. Did These you know it? Did pay. you know it? Do they realize this is how people die? I mean, what if something happened to one of my lookouts while this was going on? And God forbid there's an actual fire burning out of control. What do you want to do? All good points. I want you to go find them. Oh, let's go fuck them up. Here for a breath of fresh air and some adventure. What do you got? I think I want you to just find them and scare the hell out of them. I can do yeah, that. Make a spooky ghost costume, but they stole my sheets. <laughs> I don't know. Um, wait for them to wander off and wreck their camp. Something that would make a teenage girl run home to mommy and daddy. <laughs> I'll find them. Thanks. Oh, but I am going to need a raise. <sighs> don't hold your breath. <laughs> start by hiking back towards your tower and just keep an eye out for anything that would lead you to them. All right. Oh, they're big into Red Eagle. <laughs> Great. <laughs> See if you can find the path they took down from there. Maybe they looped back around towards the lake or something. I doubt they're where they were yesterday, but they obviously can't have gone far. Oh, there's no one. We are being good environmentalists. We are recycling. Hell yeah, let's scare some teens. These teens were so rude to us the other day. Um, beer can this way, baby? Any beer cans? Okay. Yeah, I mean, listen, I didn't like them when we round out that they were littering. Uh, long drop down, sure. I don't know, this is where I'm meant to go. Ooh, supply drop. Hmm. This way to supplies or that way to I'm sure the girls. Oh. Let's check this way. Is there another cache down here? There's probably no supplies, but you know. We can check. Supply drop this way. Ooh. Uh, one, two, three, four. <laughs> Summon a bear to camp. That'll re really teach him, right? Ah, oh, there's nothing. That's sad. But fair enough. Um, hmm, this way. Teddy time for Din Din. Yeah, honestly. Could you imagine if you had the power to call bears? Like Aquaman, but with bears. Ooh. Cable car? Hey, I'm out at a ravine. What's this thing that spans across it? Ooh, that's that creepy. That is how you get to my sector. No kidding. Well, let me hike over. Well, it's locked up and mainly for emergencies. I've never actually used it. Rangers use it from time to time, but that's it. Fair enough. Help! Oh, God, it's an emergency! <laughs> oh, really? 
Yeah, I got, I got, um, I got eyes on a tornado. I gotta oh, get out of here. Oh shit! Tornado. tornado in the heart of the Rockies. Yes. Holy moly! I need to call this in. Tom, two forks see the tornado. <laughs> Two was so he dumb. He's evac into my sector. It's a meteorological impossibility. There haven't been tornadoes in the Greater Yellowstone region in a hundred million years. You're gonna need him to stay and take a detailed personal account, even if it means giving his life. Okay, I'll tell him. <laughs> Sorry, Hank. Stop calling me Hank. Man. You can tell the actors had so much fun with this. You love how I say Aquaman? How am I supposed to say it? Aquaman? Aqua. So pretty. Uh, Carabiner? What is that? Is this just something I can tie my road to? What's up here, though? Nothing? Really? Nothing? Okay. Just a little outcrop. Oh! Excuse me? I almost missed this! There's an abandoned pack out here. And it's not one of the teens? No, it looks like it was lost a long time ago. Well, Brian you always go for it for supplies. <laughs> That's rude. Oh. Oh, we got a camera now. That's fine. And more rope. Well, I am flush with ropes now. That oh, you so you had to find this, right? Decent condition too. That's lucky. I mean, there's there's enough rope here that I could just leave them hooked up. I think. Oh, get this. This uh, pack came with one of those cardboard single-use cameras. With pictures left. Yeah, we only used three or four. Neato. Thank you, Brian Goodwin. Wait, wait, who? The bag had the name Brian Goodwin sewn into the top. Huh. Wow. Do you I'm know assuming him? that's his stuff up there. Yeah, I just haven't heard that name in a few years. Uh, Ranger? Lookout? He was a lookout? <laughs> yeah, kinda, I guess. He was stationed in Two Forks, and your lookout. Oh. His dad Ned three summers ago. You can bring children out here. Is that the no. guy they were talking about in the you note? No, I'm not a stickler for rules. It took off halfway through the summer. Uh. Did you keep you in touch? Keep in touch, you and the Goodwin kid. Nah, they took off pretty unceremoniously. <laughs> What's a forty-year-old woman gonna do with a teenage pen pal? <laughs> hmm. Good point. Anyway, I've had coworkers that are older. They're great. Have uh, fun with that camera. Try not to snap anything that would scar a photodome employee. I don't know, I got a lot of hiking to do. Might get bored. Well, I'm bored as rocks, so I'll keep you company while you find those girls, huh? Oh yeah, right, that's what we're doing. I'd completely forgotten about that. Um, say quarter? <laughs> quarter? <laughs> Stream just becomes me saying words. It's the long A for me. Ah, Aquaman. Cash! One of these days, these caches have to contain actual cash, right? Like people left their loot after rank heist. That'd be cool. Map updated. Look at that. That's so pretty. Oh, another note. Let's read. 16th of the 6th, 86. Dave. Guess who's going out with Debbie next week? <laughs> no, not that shit heel, Steve. It's your man, Ron. I went up to check out the new guy at Two Forks and heard him talking to himself. More than usual for LOs. I'm assuming that's Ned and Brian? He's talking to his kid? So I figured I'd stay away. Remember when you saw Chimney Rock having himself having, having himself in that hammock? I'm starting to think that the Forest Service only picks the deranged and perverted. Ooh, <laughs> gross. Except for us, of course. We're the creme de la creme. Let's toast to Deb at the spot. Ron. Okay, so... Dave and Ron were old ones. And then we've got Delilah in the other tower. We've got Ned and his kid took off during the summer. Okay. Keep this note. Ooh. Stone. Yay! Oh, well, that... That was anticlimactic. Uh, 
Uh, someone found a fossil and put it in a cash box. <laughs> oh, really? You? I mean, you could have been a bit more excited. Uh, yeah. Back to the lake, I suppose. Um, I haven't seen any beer cans in a while. Is that a fence? I don't know why. I'm intrigued by the fence, but so I am. No trespassing. I thought that was something on the ground. It's just a... Oh, it's the shadow of the sign, right. Hey, uh, Delilah? What do you got? You found him? Uh, no, not yet. Why would there be a fence out here? Uh, because sometimes hikers go ass over tea kettle when on a trail. So the forest service would put up a big chain link fence? A chain link oh, fence? Stuck. Yeah. It looks like it surrounds a huge area. Huh. That's weird. Who are they keeping out? What are they keeping in? Could those girls be behind this fence? What are they keeping they in? Keeping in? What do they not want to have get out of there? Okay, I can't get to it. Jeez, oh, so many things. Should I just stop you now? <laughs> Maybe loads of hedgehogs. <laughs> okay. Thousands, even full percentage points of the global hedgehog population. Uh huh. The New Zealand government is, is up in arms. Where are all the hedgehogs? Well, folks are hiding them all in Wyoming. That's where they are. Who would do that and why? Haha, <laughs> that is the real mystery. Really glad I kept you in the loop. Thanks for all of the high quality information. <laughs> okay, okay. I'll ask what's up if I talk to someone in the next few days who I think might know. Fair enough. Um, I can't ask about this burn tree? From this burned section of forest, I have no idea where to go. Their trail is pretty cold at this point. Hmm, you're out by Mule Point. No one would camp out in the fireweed. Well, I want you to stay out there as a favor to little old me. My pleasure. <sighs> okay, we know these young women are sloppy. They must have left some sort of trail. Is that the game telling me, like, you should know what you're looking for at this point? We can't help you anymore. It's not our fault you got so dang lost out here. Um. I'm having a hell of a time getting this fucking flapjack off his ass and out to repair that wire. Okay. Flapjack, haha, I want me to go back. Uh, flapjack? Excuse me, flapjack? The fuck is you a flapjack? Like a loser. A charge. I really don't, but I do now. Well, the next time you're at a bar and some banker steps on your foot so he can order his crappy martini, you've got just the name to use. Oh, I gotta go back this way. Um. Hey, flapjack, why don't you wait your turn before I bounce your face off a dumpster? It's beautiful! <laughs> Okay, um, there's a place I can, yeah, here. I may as well put the rope up now while I'm here. Nice. Attach the rope. Yoink. All right, cool. Um, why am I stuck? Wow, I am completely, thoroughly lost. Um... Where would they be? Okay, the fence, I can't get past there. Supply drop, I went all around there. Um, may as well head back to Thunder Canyon, I guess? I'm assuming they're down here somewhere. Near the lake. Okay. Maybe. Who knows. I'm just enjoying the forest at this point, so... <laughs> if it takes us all day to find them, oh well. We're out in nature. This is where Henry wanted to be. So peaceful. I mean, I know, like, there's a creepy guy out here, and, like, there are these annoying teens, but, like, it's peaceful. Hey, sorry about snapping at you earlier. Preach. Um, I thought about it, and, yeah, I suppose that must have sounded kind of weird when you heard me take that other call. Yeah. Plus, you're just out here in your own head. <laughs> Trust me, I know how it is. So, did you break any hearts back in Colorado when you took this job? I myself have chosen to never get attached to anyone who would miss me, but I know I'm a bit of an outlier. I'm married. No, I didn't have anyone. We don't really talk about the stuff, right? I care about people, and I like companionship as much as the next person. But why does it have to come from the same person for your whole life? My aunt Kathy was married to the same guy for four decades, and when he died, 
She found out he'd been having an affair with a real estate broker for 15 years. Fuck. Yeah. Whereas my aunt Judy traveled the world dating artists and musicians as she saw fit. <sighs> Call Jeez, me crazy, cool. but I'd rather spend a week in bed with Sonny Bono than half a lifetime with some cheating stockbroker. I'm married. I'm actually married. <laughs> but you're here. Yeah, it's not your business. She's sick and I shouldn't be here. Uh, she's sick and she's I shouldn't sick. be here. Let's be honest. I shouldn't be here, but I am. I, I'm sorry, Henry. What is it? We'll get into it. Okay. Well, in the meantime, you are here, and it's beautiful, and escaping isn't always something bad. Yeah, sure. Look, I gotta go do a thing, but I'll have a radio. Okay, call me if you need to. Yeah, sure. And that's that's her being like, I'm backing out of this conversation because I said marriage isn't good and like you're actually married and like something's obviously not right because you're here and they're not but you know it's fine you know it's fine um okay i can go down into the canyon or i can jump across um oh okay a uh, thin column of smoke should i report that i see a really thin plume of smoke there yeah i see it too this is either a new okay. fire or a campfire. Campfire? You think it's them? I reckon so. It looks like it's to the southwest of me. That's right. If you hike towards Five Mile Creek, that should put you in the neighborhood. Okay. Keep an eye on that smoke plume. Let me know if it's getting any larger. Will do. Will do. Um, okay. Why did the music kick in, sir? Like, it's lovely, but... Um, oh wow, okay, we got ages to go to get there. Um, I may as well go down the canyon and then south of the lake. Because there's a cache there and then there's a cache there which I can get on the way back. Alright, cool, let's go into the canyon. I like, I'm loving the music, but it just kicked in really, a <laughs> really weird point. Maybe I'm supposed to jump across. Oh well. We gotta find these teens and scare the hell out of them. I'm down in Thunder Canyon. I'm not seeing that smoke anymore. Oh, it's still burning away. Try heading west from where you are. If you loop past the lake, there should be a trail that'll take you further south. Thanks. That helps. Yeah, I know. That's that's why I came down here. I checked my map. I know things sometimes. Occasionally. The music is awesome, makes me feel so sleepy, right? What the hell was that? Yeah, it's something you could put on and like it's a summer afternoon and like it's just beautiful, it's warm, but there's a light breeze and you just drift away. Oh, I missed that man. Like I love winter. I absolutely do. But I do miss summer afternoons. This game is just reminding me of that. That's real nice. It's so peaceful out here. Okay, um, oh, there was a supply cache was this way, wasn't it? Let's hope. Oh, we can go up that way, that's cool. Did your wife's illness have anything to do with you taking this job, or? She just fall prey to the service's big recruiting push. Why doesn't she say, I hey, can I ask you know something personal? She just comes out. Uh, I got the job out of the paper. What do you mean? I was looking for a job like this. Uh, looking for a job Actually, like this? Actually, I went looking for the job. I just wanted to get out of town for a while. Well, you've come to the right place. Thanks to last summer, we got a bump in forest service budget and can actually afford to have you. That's cool. Um... Let me reply. Uh oh. What happened last summer? What happened last summer that accounted for this uh, windfall? Oh, there's another note. I mean, the federal government almost let Yellowstone National Park burn to the ground. Ring a bell? Uh, why would they do that? Is like, what, 15 miles away? Why would they do that? Well, the short story is that for 60 years we got very good at not letting forest fires happen. And then about 15 years ago, they decided that forest fires in wilderness areas like Yellowstone should be left to burn. So that's what they did. 
I can't believe you didn't hear about this. There were reports Listen, that the entire I'm park was busy. gone. Dan Rather telling the country that President Reagan didn't care on the nightly news. Reagan, what, he gonna do? what a piece Smoke of shit. And snuff one out for the giver. What should they so have done? They have done? <laughs> I don't even know. By the time the Yellowstone folks realized the little fires weren't going to burn themselves out, a hundred thousand acres were gone. It's Yellowstone, you know? People don't want to touch it. But we touch it every single day. But hey, I got a 30 cents an hour raise because we can't have <laughs> hey. a fiasco. The goddamn park can burn down again. That's so depressing. Gotta hit the hay. Hope you have an awesome stream and I'm streaming afternoon. Have a great one. Thank you so much. Yeah, it's afternoon. It'll be afternoon for me, but hope you have a good sleep. Uh, thank you for popping in. It's so good to see ya. Alright. Thank you for being here. Let's read. 29th of 886. Ron, got some bad news back at home, so hopefully they'll let me get out of here for a while. Who's to say, though? Budgets being what they are. Did you get my note about what went down in the Wapiti? Sheriff isn't too pleased with me, but I don't know. I probably overdid it. Overdid it. Wish you would have been there. I guess you must have got hung up. Dave. P.S. Amigos is Spanish and Professionales is Italian. <laughs> uh, uh, that's... So this is the one that comes after uh ron being like hey <laughs> we're not that close uh sorry you know don't worry about it um and dave is now being super professional yikes keep um okay i copied that Ooh, that is creepy as hell look at that not what i wanted to do go back in uh, well, that's in, I guess. Uh, I found a sweatshirt from the University of Eastern Colorado. Maybe it's one of the girls. I mean, it's been here a long time. It's in the cache. How can it be really one of the girls, Henry? That's dumb. Why would somebody make that up? Right, and then put it on a sweatshirt. The world's a weird place. Is that from a video game? Eastern Colorado Uni. Um, the way he chucks items on the floor cracks me up, right? He's just like, I do he's, he's like, a, you know when you give a baby something and they're just like, I don't want this anymore. <laughs> he's like that. <laughs> just tossing things. That's so funny. Don't be judging, I've made up a full band t-shirt. I know. I know. And it's amazing. I appreciated it. Um... I would make up a college sweatshirt. It would be very funny. Because you could just wear it around and if people were like, Is that is that a uni? You'd be like, yeah. Have you not heard of this thing? <laughs> Who even are you? I don't know. I am stuck. Um, I'm assuming I can't go in the water. Can I go this way? No. Can I go anyway? Yes. Okay. Um, nah. That time. Okay, we just gotta keep heading south. Which means what I should probably have the map out. Oh, it doesn't even give me an option. She's got Alzheimer's like She's dementia. Got Alzheimer's. Like um dementia. Whoa. How old was she? Young she? dude. She's alive. She's with her family in Melbourne, Australia. She's forty three. Melbourne. So American. Yeah. Devastating, obviously. Devastating? <laughs> Especially for her. Okay, well, I think it's understand. yeah. And for you. Anyway, everything she worked for was taken away, and that was it. Okay, I don't know. Yeah. I'm sorry to be such a downer. Don't, don't, don't even. I'm happy to listen. And you know, we'll try to have some fun this summer. I promise. How do I loop around the lake? Do I have to just go back inland and down? Maybe? I don't know. Yeah, like, she just radios with the most personal questions instead of being like, can I ask you something? She's like, yo! What's this? Tell me. I like you, Delilah, but like, wow. You need to... <laughs> I mean, I know she would be super, super bored, but at the same time, you're like, dude. <laughs> Yikes. It's kind of super rude, right? 
Like, they haven't even known each other that long. Can I not? Oh. I've got an overgrown trail here. Yeah, that'll happen. So I'm screwed when it comes to getting past it? Mm -hmm. Screwed until you clear yourself, yeah. Great. Well, if I come across some tools, I'll add groundskeeping to my ever-increasing list of responsibilities. <laughs> Is that it, then? I just can't... Get pa the you could absolutely get past that. What's wrong with you, dude? Um, I am so lost. Doesn't even look like we can get down there. I am so incredibly lost. I cannot believe he can't get past that. That is so dumb. It's like, excuse me, you don't get to demand my tragic backstory. Exactly, right? Like, I know it would be super uh, boring or whatever, and like a new person is like something so exciting, you get to like know about them, it's all new, but like man, don't just <laughs> demand that people tell you stuff. Um, this is on the way back to my lookout, I think. Um, Oh yeah, this is not where I want to be at all. Oh, this is so hard to navigate. Okay, I'm just going to keep the map out. How about that? So, how'd you meet? I, Delilah! Stop asking me stuff! Met in a bar. bar. Mm. That's not First super personal, but you know. Romance. I walked over and asked her what her major was because I thought she was a student, not a prof. Smooth. That's me. I did make the first move, though. Aw, you were brave. <laughs> I was drunk. <laughs> That's fair. Um, okay. So, where are we going, lads? We gotta go here. I assume we can't go in the water. <gasps> we can. <gasps> Not too far, though. Aw, oh, that's as far as we go. That's weird. Why can you let me have a little bath and then not actually go swimming? Okay. Um. Tch -tch -tch -tch. Yeah, I would be awful at, uh... Like, why can't I go that way? Henry, you're really just letting any small obstacle stop you, and it's just... Like, what are you doing, dude? You really need to just... Like, look at this. You could absolutely get over that. Alright, well, there's no way I can get through. So we're just... Oh, I'm stuck in a tree. We just gotta skirt this way a bit. Hmm. Oh, yeah, right. Back this way. We came through here before, didn't we? Yeah, we did. Whoop. Yeah, okay, cool. Put that away so that we can run. Yeah, this is where their initial campfire was. Right, right, right. We got it. We got it. Let us swim. We took all the classes at the Y. I know. Let us swim. Let us swim. It reminds me of, like... <laughs> In the original Red Dead Redemption, they uh, didn't have swimming as a mechanic, so John Marston, the character you play as, if you went in water, you pretty much died immediately. And they poked fun at it in the second game, because it was a prequel, but um, obviously with a more uh, mechanics. But if you play as John... Uh, you just can't swim, and like the character you play as, Arthur, just makes fun of him for it. It's so funny, they just poke at themselves. Rope hook? Where? Wait. Where did I see that? Oh, there. Okay. <laughs> I am going mad. And I've only been in the forest for like a couple days. Yep. Um, okay, 
before we do this, is this where we need to go? Yes, it is. Beautiful. Oh man, watching the swimming in the Olympics was so fun. Mainly because Australia is good at it. <laughs> nice to watch. It's been so, I'm so glad the Olympics have been on now. Because, oh man, it's given us something to do. What are you gonna do while when at the home? Wraps up? Good are question. Yeah, I'll go visit her. I'm going home to Boulder. I don't know yet. Uh, Sorry for the umpteenth time. Anyway, call me when you find the girls. I feel like he wouldn't know, but I want him to go visit her. Call me whenever you want. Uh, maybe I'll go visit. I don't know. Well, why not? She's with her family in Melbourne. They're not big fans of mine. <laughs> oh. Her sister Susan is great, but her parents, I uh. I think they always thought she could do better, and that I could have done a better job looking after her. Yes. Fuck that. I have no doubt you did your best. I don't know. If you want to go visit her, you should go. Don't let a couple of assholes keep you away from someone you love. I'll think about it. Three, four. I mean, I appreciate where Delilah's coming from there, but it's also like, oh man, situations like that are so complicated. <laughs> Oh, this in person, excuse me? Um, read. Missing person, name Mitch Michaels, age 31, height 6'2", weight 165 pounds. Whenever I see that, I'm just like, libs. Hair, short brown, identifying features, distinctive facial hair. I mean, people can shave, but you know, sure. I guess if, it, if he doesn't have any tattoos or anything, fair enough. General info. Mitch Michaels was last seen around Jonesy Lake on July 3rd, 1981. He was first reported missing on July 29, 1981 by Forest Service personnel. He is not known to be familiar with the area. Last known location. Mitch was seen around Jonesy Lake on the morning of July 3rd, 1981. Vehicle info. 1972 Ford F-250. Blue and white. Montana license 2807-326. If you have seen slash contacted them or have more info, please contact uh, Shoshone National Forest dis Dispatch at uh, 307-555-6241. Um, if we put that back, can we ask that? Cool. How many hikers go missing in the Shoshone? More than none, unfortunately, with most of them being in this area. Bye -bye. The thoroughfare because it's so remote. Why? I found an old flyer for a missing hiker. She got me thinking, that's all. Like how you said one day you were talking to the Goodwins, and then the next you weren't. Ned Goodwin didn't get mauled by a bear or stuck in a ravine. He was just a PTSD a-hole who dragged his son out to do a job and realized it was a bad idea. Yikes. You really didn't like the guy, huh? PTSD, that doesn't sound good. Grizzlies won't kill a-holes. <laughs> uh, PTSD? PTSD, that doesn't sound good. Spotting fires. <laughs> Better than you. He actually liked to stay in the tower. <laughs> How could you stay in the tower all day? Like, you could just go walk around. Like, you'd get so bored just being in there all the time. Boy, for as dry as it is this summer, there's an area down here that's that lush. Yeah. Oh, you must be talking about the Aspen Grove down there. Yeah, I think that's. She knows where this I am. area so well. Those trees are actually <laughs> one root organism. Did you know that? Whoa. That's so cool. Yeah, they share their water as a colony that can live for hundreds of years, even through fire. Huh. Can you believe you're actually getting paid to learn all of these amazing things? It's pretty also, cool. Uh, by what it looks like on this map, you'll be coming up on a stream that should lead you towards where we saw that smoke. Yeah, yep, here it is. That is so cool. Um, I think that was the only supply cache down here. I keep forgetting what I'm actually supposed to be doing. Yeah, it is. Okay, cool. Okay, so there and then around to the right. Cool. We got this. It's such beautiful music considering we're rushing off to scare people. 
Honestly, at this point, I've, I had almost forgotten A, that we were looking for teens, and B, what, why we were looking for these teens. Waterfall! It's so pretty! It's a really nice waterfall down here. Ooh. Given those girls love a skinny dipping, I bet they're nearby. <laughs> uh, there's some cloth out here. It looks like it's it? torn from something. No. Strange. I'll keep looking around. Let's go for a dip. Dip. Let's go get away. Ah, <laughs> oh, we can't go in the waterfall, lads. Disappointment. Okay. Through here, I assume? I feel like this is the kind of, oh yeah, let's do this. I see a campsite and it looks like they've got a fire. Oh, <gasps> sheets. That seems like it. I swear, they must have dragged four cases of beer out here. <laughs> Track them down and don't let them see you. What a job this is. Those are my sheets. I ah, found my sheets. So they did break into your tower. Looks like. I was going to say there's no option to take them, but like. He can keep, they can keep them at this point. He can uh, not take them. That's that's gross. I have entered the teen zone. Oh really? And where's that? It's the name of a magazine for girls. <laughs> it's on the ground here at their camp. These girls have a full case of beer left here. A full case. Well, they're impressive little shits, I guess. <laughs> that is some dedication. Um. Um the tent looks like it's been through the shredder, which would explain that scrap I found. What could have done that? Like a like a bear or um I don't know, it sounds crazy, but even a bull elk if it's off its rocker. Whatever did it did not hold back. Yeah. You've got that camera, right? Oh it might be yeah, a idea to get a few snaps, just in case. Yeah, good thinking. You smart, you smart. I completely forgot we had the camera. I was so excited to get the camera, and then I immediately uh, forgot about it. clothes are all torn up. Uh, that's not good. See, I want to read the note, but like, you know, maybe I, I feel like that'll trigger something. Payback. At this stage, take whatever you want. <laughs> uh, the beer, we can't clean that up? Okay. Uh, looks like someone left a note. Intriguing. Maybe you should read it. Okay, yeah. Let me know what it says. Yeah. <laughs> Dear Psycho, hope you I hope you're fucking happy. We're leaving and we're gonna find the police or whatever and tell them about how you creeped on us on the lake and then came and destroyed our campsite and all of our stuff. Oh, and stealing panties is gross out. You're probably a mental fucking axe murderer and you are so going to jail. I hope it was worth being a jerk over some fireworks. Dick. Whoops. <laughs> Okay, so we were the ones that creeped on them at the lake because we were trying to get them to not set off the fireworks. They didn't realize that we were actually like a firewatch person, like we were actual personnel. Um, but we didn't do this, did we? Unless we're now blacking out. Um, I'm assuming it's the guy? The creepy guy? Ugh, keep the note, I guess. Evidence. There's a pedophile in the woods, yeah. Oh, they're gone, for sure. Well, what's it say? Oh. Oh, we're applying. Uh, no, they're calling the police. Why would I lie about that? Because they think I attacked them. Oh my god, well, did you? Did I? How could you ask me that? I destroyed their stereo. Um, I destroyed their stereo. Well, I, I, yeah. Okay, someone or something went to town here, but it wasn't me. Because I told you to scare them, not assault them. The lie lied. I didn't. Shut up. Of course up. I didn't. I just threw their stereo in the lake. Yeah, I really wish you would Whoops. <laughs> I don't know. Weird as hell. But Listen, it was playing copyrighted music. It's, it's okay. Maybe. I believe you. Weird stuff happens in the woods. It could be other campers. They could be having a bad mushroom trip. We really don't know. But they're gone. There's no way to call the cops. They're not coming back. And we can get to work. I'd really like to start enjoying a quiet summer. <laughs> yeah, me too. Okay. Oh, day three. Sure. <laughs> Yikes, man. Find voids downstairs to patch window. We can do that. Back to work. Achievement unlocked. 
Yeah, see, that's the uh, floor. Hey, Henry? Oh, <gasps> she made um, it fall! What do you look like? I forgot we had a total. Why are you asking? Because I'm horribly superficial. <laughs> but like Burt Reynolds, if Tom Cruise had a good looking twin, do you know Rolly Fingers? Uh, Tom Cruise? I could be <laughs> Tom Cruise's good looking twin brother. Oh, that's too bad. Oh, I now I want to watch like Mission Impossible, man. Yeah, well, you can't win them all. Okay, well, that gives me a good start. Now, let's see. In my scope, I can only tell you're a Who white guy I'm wearing just a shorts. It's hot. Excuse me? And maybe, by the way, I'm not white. It's not very, uh, you know, PC or whatever they say. <laughs> or oh whatever God, they say. You are the whitest man. <laughs> I don't need a spotting scope for that. Ouch. And if not shorts, then what do you normally like to wear? Uh, clothes. I don't really think about it. Tuxedos. As often as possible. I try to look nice, usually. Tuxedos, obviously. Tuxedos, Come on. Tuxedos, as often as possible. Oh, really? You bet. How cosmopolitan. I didn't realize Boulder was so chic. It is the peak of high society. <laughs> mm, good it is the peak. Ew, good to know, yes. This is so creepy, Delilah. I have a thick beard, my nose has been broken, you'll enjoy my thin mustache and long, long scar. Yeah, let's give her different mustache, information than what we actually look like. Mustache. I got a, a long scar, goes down across my eye, down my cheek. And you only wear tuxes. Yeah. Are you a freaking Bond villain? You got me. I, uh, I, I get up to some stuff, yeah. <laughs> this is so this weird. Yeah, no, I'm not taking it seriously at all. I want to know about your eyes. Get out of here. I'm drawing you. I need to know. Your what? <laughs> is, is that okay? Uh. No, no not really. Don't answer. I'm gonna do it regardless. <laughs> oh, I've got a story. Okay. Your eyes. Tell me. Steely, happy, tired. Um, steely. They're, uh, they're steely. Why is he not telling her about the fucking panty stealing? I don't know. Mushroom dance, mushroom dance. Whatever could it mean? <laughs> Uh, sure. Okay, got it. Thank you, Henry. You get what you need? Absolutely. Sure. Um, I hate when white guys try to make PC jokes. Yeah, you're in cargo shorts, you're a white dude. Are you asking me what I'm wearing? Black booty shorts and a crop top. Yep. Bond, James Bond. He <laughs> just said it as I was typing. <laughs> it is invasive, right? It's so weird. Sounds like she's trying to uh, sounds like she's giving our description to police. Ooh. Ooh, that's creepy. Yeah, I'm like, I mean, I feel like she knows what we look like at this point. Just be like, yeah, I'm being funny. I'm definitely not just not giving you a description because I don't want you to have my description. Look at how cute she is. Look at them eyes. Oh my lord. Adopt hold. Yeah, I... I've already adopted her. Oh, that was so violent, Henry. You need to stop throwing things. Ooh. Got a toolbox now. Can we not take tools down to the place that we couldn't get to? Maybe? I forgot what we were doing. Um, oh, yeah, story. Um, there was this, like, guy in high school that was, like, kind of weird. And, like, you look back and you're like, maybe he didn't have a great home life or whatever. But at the time, I was like, wow, you were so weird. Um... And I looked over at him, we did drama together for a few years. And I looked over at him in one class, and he's like sketching. And I was like, uh, what you doing? Because he was kind of looking at me. And he was drawing me, and it was so creepy. But I was like, oh, this is nice, like, can I keep this? And like, he kind of didn't want me to have it, but I didn't want him to have it. So I was like, no, I want to keep it. And I was like, oh my, this is so creepy. Burns, he's here. You, uh, keeping a good eye on things, dude? Nice. Um, what am I doing? Oh, board. That's right. Get a couple more boards. Where did you put that, Henry? Can we use him to, uh... To plug, plug up the window? Wouldn't be very warm, but it'd be pretty funny. Um, wooden board. Take. Um, cinder block. Okay. That's my favorite thing when like characters are like, I'm not gonna kill anyone. And then they hit someone with like a cinder block and it's like, they're not fine. 
They're, they're not fine. You may not have killed them in the moment, but they're definitely gonna die. Can I, like, stand you up? Okay, that's as, that's as good as we're gonna get. Don't draw people. You don't draw random people, you creepy high schooler. Yeah, it was weird. I was like, at least ask first. Like, I would have said no, but you could have at least asked. Board up. Um, there we go. Oh, oh my god, he was just like the flash then. And board up. Bunk. Mm, final one. I mean, there are some nice gaps in there. I, <laughs> I got the window all patched Maybe up. you want to patch that up? So, what should I do now? What's next? What's yeah, next? you creep. What's next? What do you think is next? I don't know. You've been the one giving me tasks for two days straight. Right? What's next is you sit in that room until September 1st and call me at the first line of smoke. Oh, that's so boring. Yeah. Why don't you let me know when you're mentally prepared for that task and uh, I'll give it to you. <laughs> Uh, do I have to do it now? I mean, I guess there's nothing else really to do. Okay, I think I am ready to tackle my long-term commitment of keeping this national forest safe from total destruction. I am glad to hear you've really thought this through. <laughs> uh, yeah, of course. Of course. We issued you a comfy chair to sit in and everything. <gasps> comfy chair? You know, it's not really that comfy. It's wooden and there's no padding. Oh, I thought I'd gotten a new chair. Splinter in my thigh this morning. Aww. Well, regardless, take a seat. The forest depends on you. I got two chairs. Look at that. Oh, my God. Day nine. Oh, my goodness. Oh, man. I'm just thinking about that armchair that we found in What Remains of Edith Finch. Oh, it's so nice. I wanted it. Hello, Henry. Having a nice afternoon? At least she's calling me Henry now. Yeah, great. I might never leave. Well, I was. That's so rude. Um, I might never leave. leave. Well, uh, I called with some bad news. Two young women, Chelsea Stevens oh, and Lily the McClain, teenagers. were reported missing. They've got parents out in California who haven't heard from them in a week. They were supposed to meet an aunt down in Cody. If they're the girls from last week, then you're probably the last person to have seen them. Yeah, I am. Uh, happy to be questioned. I didn't do anything. It's probably a coincidence. I'm happy to be questioned. You should tell whoever that I'm happy to be questioned. Look, it's not gonna be an issue. Uh, I mean, if if they turn up dead, then maybe. Should I just not say anything and save us the trouble? No, you should absolutely be honest. It's worth mentioning. I, oh my goodness. I think it's worth mentioning Don't something. Just say nothing. Yeah. I'll uh. I'll, I'll keep it vague. I, I really want to talk want to, to them. Talk to the Clear things up. Me neither. Uh, right, Henry. Thanks. Enjoy the sunset. I, I don't understand when people are just like, oh my god, day 15. They're like, let's just keep it on the down low. No, be honest and open up front. You could be the Henry. prime suspect in a murder Henry, investigation, up. dude. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, tell them two women are missing and we know for a fact that we saw them. <laughs> so are their panties. Ugh, dude, it's the middle of the night. What do you want? What do you want? Hey, you big dumb idiot. Here we are. Huh? Babe, it's late. You're the big dumb idiot. Hi, Julia. Hi, Hi Julia. Jules. Oh, you sound tired. Mm, I am. Is she dreaming? Good here. I'm fine. How are you? I don't want to bring up the weird stuff. It's good yeah. here. He's got to be dreaming, right? It's beautiful, you know. That's great, Henry. Really great. Got that Aussie well, accent. I'll let you get back to sleep then. <laughs> okay, Jules. Delilah seems nice. Mm-hmm. Sure. Okay. Oh, oh my god, day 33, that skipped. Wow. Is it too much oh, of a pain in the ass? Fennelink, thank you for the follow. Well, I get my 
stuff hand delivered. Oh, how's that work? It's the perks of a decade of service. You're out hiking in 90 degree heat, and I get to do crosswords. Isn't life miserably unfair? <laughs> anyway, when you find the supply drop, remember it's not just for you, okay? Other lookouts, biologists, a few people get their food there, and I don't want to have to call in for more. There should be loads of good stuff, though. Beans, prunes, jerky. You know, my sister eats six prunes a day. Six. She's, like, oh really precise about it. She'd be great at this job if she didn't need wheelbarrows full of marijuana to function. <laughs> Yikes. Alright, um... Hmm. We've got eight minutes left of the stream. So, like, two weeks ago, you Let's just called me in the middle of the night. I'm ready for it to be over. sleeping, I guess, and all I heard was the name Jules through the mumbles. I just thought it was so sweet. I wanted to wake you up, but then I thought maybe you were having a nice conversation, and I'd just be spoiling it. But yeah, okay, that's okay. fair. You know, when it comes to her. I shouldn't be here. I am... Don't respond. Um, I feel like we should respond. Uh, I am. I am. Good. I'm glad. Oh, uh, look. So, a couple of months before I oh, took God, this do job, I want to know this, I... I was with this guy, Javier. Oh, he's I'll just keep heading off. Whoa! I was working with the Wyoming Outdoor Leadership School. I thought she was gonna say like a time at a time. I wanted to be an instructor so badly. And I was sure I was gonna marry Javier as soon as I could be bothered. Walls was also a good excuse to get out of town, drink whiskey in the mountains, cut loose. <sighs> then um Javier's brother got killed working in Gillette. Yikes, dude. Fine. He'd go to the funeral, take care of his mom, stuff like that. It'd be easier solo. When he came back, he left me. I came out here. I lied and told my sister he fucked our neighbor. Okay, so Delilah is a perpetual liar then. I came out here with a broken heart just like you. I figured you've told me so much about you. So, you know, there's something about me. We both fucked up. I tell you stuff about me because you won't leave me alone if... Yikes, dude. That's rough. But also, like, don't lie to your sister. What the hell? Okay. Alright, we need the supply drop. That was intense. She just dropped that on us. Like, I mean, I know we we're aware at this point she doesn't have boundaries, but, um... Yikes. <laughs> Henry didn't ask to know any of that. She was just like, hey... Want to know my tragic backstory? This woman does not have boundaries. Uh, two fox. That's us. Pick up. Um. Mm, no, nah, we're not gonna. We're not gonna be an asshole. All right, I got everything I need out of here. Time to chow down. Just yours, right? Yeah. Who do you think I am? Oh, oh my God! Day sixty-four. This is jumping all over the place. Wow. Sure. You've um, got a front row seat for what might be the biggest fire of the year. Yeah, it's really going. Should I'm gonna call it in. Going there? I'm a hotshot crew for some suppression, but I bet we'll be stuck with her for the rest of the summer. And she doesn't have a name yet. I usually think of something funny or something practical or a little risque when coming up with them. <laughs> Why don't you do the honors? Oh, okay. Um, big fire, the flapjack fire, Delilah. <laughs> uh, flapjack fire. That so, sounds funny. No ideas, huh? Shut up, uh, Delilah. Maybe we call it the flapjack fire. Can you sell that as a name? Do you really like that, huh? <laughs> yeah, I said I did. It's funny. It's funny. Fair enough. Flapjack fire it is. He'll probably ask me if it was a camp cooking accident or something. <laughs> That's fair. Um, so there's this creek down the hill. Um, you know what my favorite thing to do is? Do I want to know? What's that? I love to take a bottle of whatever I have on hand, plunge it deep into the water, and let it chill in there all day. That's cool. And then, on nights like tonight, when it is so disgustingly hot, I have something nice and cool to drink. I learned that from my sister in Santa Fe. She'd do that with a bottle of tequila near her house and make margaritas the size of your head. 
<laughs> You'd like it there. I'm sure. I've had a bad time with tequila. I would if I was with you. No, 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 no. We're married, Pam. Uh, I'm sure. Mm, Let's sure keep would. it not personal. Sounds pretty great. It is. <laughs> married, Henry. Yeah. Remember. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, I want this conversation to be over. I'm glad you're here. Me too. Sure you are. Why do you say that? Um, why do you say that? Why do you say that? Because I do. I'm not crazy. I mean, we've had such a good time, right? Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not a good idea, fam. Not a good idea. Don't do that. We're just not gonna we're just not gonna talk. respond to that. No, we're not gonna respond. Nice we're not gonna close. respond. <laughs> I'm so uncomfortable. Why don't we both just go watch this fire and try to imagine all the old dead things that's burning away? As long as this conversation ends, but I'm fine with that. Fam, he is married. You're going fishing without a license. Need to leave him One alone. Fish, and I'm sick of all the stuff I got to eat. No, I won't tell anyone you're a poacher. <laughs> Preach. That reminds me, I keep hearing reports from fish and game about a problem there they're trying to keep tabs on. Can you search around the lake for fresh tracks and just let me know what you find? Shoot. There was a crew burning fire lines out to the east, and, um, you know, I think sometimes it riles up the wildlife. Problem bear, fuck that. Sure thing, is problem a euphemism? Nope, we're not having that conversation. Problem bear, fuck that. Problem bear, fuck that. I am of the opinion that they are all problems. <laughs> Come on, please. Ugh, can't believe I'm gonna leave this planet as a pile of bear shit. <laughs> Thank you, Henry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's like, yeah, 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 yeah. Leave me alone. I'm definitely not doing that. All right, cool. Well, we're about two hours in. I think we're about halfway through the game. Uh, I'm loving this so far. I'm absolutely loving this. Um, but we'll leave it there for today. Um. Friday, no stream tomorrow. Friday, we're back with At Dead of Night, which I'm so excited about. I can't wait to get back into that game. I like had, I genuinely had to stop myself from playing it the other day because I was like, oh, I just want to keep going. Um, maybe if we get to like 70, 80 percent through the game, um, we'll just play it the entire day regardless and just get it done. Um, but this, we'll come back to this on Saturday. Uh, we'll get it done uh, this week. Uh, I don't want to wait. I don't want to wait an entire week, especially it's such a short game. Um, I'd stay and finish it today, but I got to look after um, our cat Kiwi. He's not. Uh, he's kind of sick at the moment. Um, like he's fine. He's just sick. <laughs> He'll be fine. We just need to take care of him. Um, but I got to go do that. Otherwise, I would stay and uh, and finish this game because I'm really enjoying it. I'm glad other people seem to be enjoying it. Um, yeah, cool. That's that for the day. Let's save game. And oh, you can restart current day. That's cool. Okay, cool. All right, I will tell Kiwi you love him. I will. All right, thank you everyone. Um, <laughs> catch him. That's a um, Julian thing, right? That's awesome. All right, well, thank you everyone for coming along. I will see you on Friday for more Jimmy and his best to space for bat. All right. Love y'all. See ya.